Hello, everybody. Welcome to the T.O.P., the Tournament of Power Grand Finale. I am here, Lieutenant Raikage, with my co-host, Bat to the Bow. <laughs> howdy, howdy, folks. And we are your legendary GT announcers. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We have in the grand finale Monkey Monday and Copium Cast. Uh, back to the boat. You want to know a little bit, a little bit about their history to get to where they are in the grand finale? Yeah, hit me with it. All right. Now, Monkey Monday in round one was beaten by the agency, but. Luckily for them, we have second chances in this tournament, unlike the main season. They went from loser round, loser bracket round one, all the way to beat everybody. I'm talking Kung Fu Generation. I'm talking Team MJ. I'm talking Best Friends. I'm talking FGC. I'm talking The Agency. Got their revenge on them. And then Hiffle's Kitchen. So, and then Monkey Monday just undefeated. Just, uh, they beat Earth Offenders, Team MJ, Bios Malfunction, Hiffle's Kitchen, and also they beat, uh, oh, I'm sorry. They didn't beat anybody else up after that, but they might beat Copium Cast. But the question is, can they do it to solidify their uh, unbeaten record? Uh, could you uh, go ahead and explain how this is going to work? Yeah, sure thing. Um, so because of how the brackets were kind of set up, there was a bit of weirdness um, here towards towards the end. Um, Monkey Monday are going into this with uh, one win already on the on the best of five. But if Copium Cast uh, gets their three wins uh, and get wins this first best of five, uh, since they're coming from the the losers bracket, I believe. Um, It'll sort of be flip flop a little bit, and there'll be basically a reset where there'll be another best of five to see who truly wins. Uh, but if Monkey Monday gets their their two wins, then that's that. All right, it's going to be an exciting match, folks. Let's uh, go ahead and get into the match. Here we are with the Tournament of Power finale map. We only reserve this map for the best of the best. Let's get into it. Yeah. Uh, starting off, we're having some absolute melee powerhouses going against one another. Uh, from Monkey Monday, we have Zarbon, who's going to be running defense plus two, Sirius, Dende's healing, quick fast attack, and latent energy on Piccolo AI, uh, going up against Buhan. The attack plus two, defense minus one, serious, master throw, focus shot, quick fast attack, light energy, and light body on Trunks AI. Oh yeah, Zarbon with his uh, defense uh, build and a little bit of charge here. And of course, Buhan with his very lethal attack, I would say an attack build. Uh, we're gonna see what happens because uh, Buhan on the Copium cast has been, I don't want to say carrying, he's been one of the two members that are the most lethal on their team. And, uh, well, Zarbon has been a defensive tank, and he's been effective at points, and his most effective thing to me is tagging. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I'm saying that's a good thing. Oh yeah, that's absolutely no, like... If a character is good at tagging, that is a, ben uh, a boon in its own right. Um, tagging can be the very thing that wins you some games. Um, Zarbon over I would agree is just a sort of generally impressive character. I, I, I wouldn't call him exceptional, but he's good. Um, Buhan, of course, is I believe probably the most uh, expensive character on Copium Cast, so it sort of makes sense for him to be a very, very high-valued character. Um, but even still, I, I think this matchup can very much go either way. Oh yeah, and it is also not a surprise to me they start off with uh, their defensive option on for uh, Monkey Monday, considering that uh, basically Copium Cast pretty much every time starts with uh, either Boo or Zarbon. 
uh, I said Sarban, uh, Boo or <laughs> the Demon King Gabura. Yeah, I actually think maybe this this might work out a little bit better. Dabura, who hasn't shown up yet, has been absolutely shredding in the TOP, mm. and I don't know how effective having a more defense-oriented character would be up against that, just because of the nature of the, you know, like, super plus and attack plus Jaras. Uh, uh, yeah. And right now, we are seeing a uh, big lead uh, for Zarbon here uh, against Boo here. It, it is, uh, it's not looking well for him, but he can always tag, and literally both teams have shown that they will tag at the right moments. Absolutely. I mean, even with Wuhan being on low health, I mean, he's he's got serious. he's attack plus two. Um, if he gets in a good melee combo, even with Zarbon's defenses, it'll do some damage. Um, I think Zarbon just saved a wild sense there, so might be a bit hard to do that. Oh, yeah. And just, just oh, wow. Oh, but he jumps right back into the Super Kamehameha. And... Just like that, it's it's a uh, he's done his damage to Zarbon, considering he is a defensive uh, character. Yeah, that was almost a really good wild sense, but the AI just kind of goofed there, and out comes Jero as Zarbon transforms. Wow, oh, yeah. um, Jero is in with Super Plus One, Eternal Life, Light Body, Savior on Goku AI. So pretty straightforward build. Ooh, and a nice um, tag into. Uh, uh, Holy crap, I'm blanking on his name. What's his name? Jiren. Jiren. <laughs> and an ultimate right off the back. 17k. Okay. Wow, a lot just happened there. Uh, yeah, Jiro missed his ult, and then Jiren came in and used his, uh, Jiren used his ult by, after stepping away. Uh, Jiren in with Super Plus One, Fighting Spirit, Indignation, Savior, Launch Support, and Focus Shot, Focus Shot on TNAI. So, pretty uh, heavy uh, B2 uh, build, which makes sense. He has some really good ones to work with. Oh, uh, yeah. So, Jiro's going to need to get those grabs in. But, uh, well, actually... Uh, the Jiren has some armor to him, and so he could actually get those grab-ins quite easily, I think. And that would be effective against a uh, very hard-hitting V2 user like Jiren. But unfortunately, he's also a heavy melee hitter, <laughs> as you can see here. Yeah, Jiren overall just a very good character. I believe he's the he's probably the most expensive character that Monkey Monday has on their side. So he's sort of what their their Buhan is essentially, if you were to kind of look at it that way. Um, can he grab that? No, he just dodges it. That's fine, I guess. Wow. Good B2 to punish that. Can Jero. Can Jero, like, uh, prove the haters wrong, like myself. Yeah, so that's a prove wrong. bring this at least relatively close for coping cast. Jiren says no. Jiren is, in fact, saying no does have a heavy lead here, and they do also have Zarbon in the back still. So, Finally good. we get okay. into Deborah. Yeah. He only uh, Deborah? There, very potentially. Um, Deborah coming in with uh, Super Plus 2, Key Minus 1, Launch of Support, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, Focus Shot, and Master Blast on Shout to AI. Um, Dabaro ha Dabaro has been seen to absolutely shred. I mean, look at that. Yeah. 11k Evil Flame. That Evil Flame is so, like, OP. Uh, not OP, but, like, just heavy. Just the, one of the highest, like, B2s in the Tournament of Power right now. Uh, yeah. You're gonna, he's, he could easily turn around the match just by hitting like, at least, like, three or four of those. Absolutely. I mean, we just saw him clean up Jiren pretty quickly. Uh, bring out Grandpa Gohan, uh, the boy. Uh, with key plus one, light body, focus shot, dragon spirit, demonic bargain on Shatsu AI. Um, yeah, uh, Gramps is going to need to go Ultra Instinct right now if he wants to wants to uh, freaking uh, beat Debura here, I think. Oh, yeah. Um, we seen it in this last match uh, that he... Was it him or was it somebody else? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was him in this last match, I believe, where he was against one of Bios Malfunction members, and he basically Ultra Instinct on his own around uh, a, a charge attack, one of those charge attacks where you use your whole body, like Rolling Smash, and he avoided the all of it just by uh, constantly uh, using After Image. 
Yeah, had after Mr. Up Strike there for uh, for a little bit, but I don't think he really got much value out of it. So now he's got that key negative to deal with, and Debora is putting him on his last bar of health. Um, but he does have the demonic bargain to get some health back. And this but, is, I mean, and that that's amazing for uh, Kofi and Kaz. Debora right now is just bringing them back into the fold by absolutely dicing up Grandpa Gohan. He could easily tear through Sarbon with one evil flame, or even that right there. It's uh. Is looking to be in his favor right now. Yeah, unless unless Zarbon comes in with some firepower, uh, Duro's got plenty of health. Duro's still back there, and Zarbon's got basically two health bars in a dream. Okay, I I thought uh, Zarbon was in his last bar, but he recovered much more than I thought. Yeah, he tagged um, he tagged fairly fairly early, and he has a bit of healing. Got after him to strike up. Wow, a pushback that's not going to help, but an evil impulse, and he's that defense does not uh, help that much when you have that that much of a super plus. Absolutely not. But he is he is starting to bring it around. He's he's at least getting Deborah low, but I think that's it. Oh wow! Wait, did, was that the match? Wow, yeah, that was, well, that's that's the first round. Yeah. Wow, I was not even. Wow, I, I blinked and it was over. I could have sworn they had the upper hand, but already they already they turned it around so fast. Alright, all right, we gotta get yeah. into the next round. Yeah, uh, Monkey Monday had the, the lead there for a bit, um, but once Deborah came out, he just started he started just chopping through Monkey Monday. But that is only the first win for Copium Cast. This is a best of five still, and even if Copium Cast wins, there's gonna be a whole nother set of best of five that we have to do. Um, so right now, Monkey Monday it does have a bit of an advantage with how well they need to do. Oh yeah, no that. Oh, and that's not going to help as there is no ground beneath him. Uh, gotta be, he has to be uh, above ground and then smash their head into the ground in order to do some damage. Yeah, definitely not the the best spot for Zarbon in his grab. Seems like right now there's kind of chilling here, trading a little bit, little bits of melee combos with one another. Not really yeah. going anywhere. They stay in that corner, and uh, Buhan will definitely get the upper hand and keep smacking him in the face as he loves to like punch, punch, punch all day. He will do that if given the opportunity, and he's already in his uh, full power mode. You might see uh, some ghosts <laughs> just uh -oh. like that. Are they gonna hit? Those? Seems like. Wow! Oh he my god! Right into it for fourteen thousand damage, and right off the bat, well, they're starting off uh, really bad. <laughs> yeah, with with that alone, uh, Copium Cast is out here trying to style on Monkey Monday. Um, <laughs> only a bar difference, so it's not it's not a huge gap. It's not a huge gap. Not a huge gap. Not a huge gap, people. Uh, do we have the Deborah. votes in? We do have votes? Let's get those votes uh, in, people. Yeah, we have nine votes. Oh, it just ended. Uh, right now, it looks like people are saying Monkey Monday with 60% of the votes. 60%? Um, are going to take it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Copium Honestly, is going to make them drink so much copium. <laughs> that is, in fact, what they deal. I, you know what? I'll shrug some as well because I'm, 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 I'm banking on Monkey Monday winning personally. I, I, I'm banking on a Copium Cast, even though I dislike uh, Jero. I, I seen them. I commentated on them, and like they, they just hang in there even after Chaozu blew himself up on them. <laughs> and there you go, Zarbon is out of here. Didn't even transform. Wait, did he transform? No, he did not. No, no, he he's staying in his base form. Yeah. Here now goes Jiren. Jiren. Now, a Colossal Slash from Jiren will take out Buhan here. It uh, will. He's going to opt for a high power rush, which might do it because he has the mine negative defense right now from... Uh, oh, wow. That was 11k plus two. combo right there. Oh, he's looking for attack. Yeah, there it Buh is. Ooh. Bow! Yeah, right there in his face. <laughs> Kicked Fantastic. him like a football. Wow, he's actually doing his ultimate. And it hits! They are styling on them. They are. Um, granted, though, Drew hadn't even lost any health at this point, so 
the <laughs> the real benefit of that ult didn't really come through, but it's still good damage. We should have like the cape should be able to go over their maximum health. And right there we have 11k and basically he is one full bar behind Jiro now. And Jiro winning the clashes. Oh, no, they go 50-50 for the clashes now. But uh, this is already an outstanding performance for Jiro. Used an ultimate and it actually hit. It's, uh, it, it's unusual, folks. Absolutely. And I mean, he was, at least for a bit, they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jiren, who... Is no slouch, but I mean a, a colossal slash from Jiren will go a long way towards uh, towards evening this up. There we go. You speak it into the existence, and it did about 10k. It didn't fully count all uh, on the screen, but yeah, uh, it I, did damage. It did damage. I think um I think because there's like the uh, the the wall right there. I think it like clipped it, and so it didn't do its full damage. Because I think it only did about. 10k there, which is low for it. Oh, draining his energy. Making sure... Oh, and a, a nice tag into King Deborah. It's, uh... It's looking like a nice full team effort. No one has gone down on Copium Cast yet. Absolutely, yeah. No one's gone down, but hey, Jaren also tags. Okay, we have the, uh... The guy who started Dragon Ball Z himself, Grandpa Gohan, if anybody could turn around, well, it would have to be him. He has to turn around. <laughs> There's no other choice. Well, Jiren does have Savior, so him coming back out later with another uh, Colossal Slash, depending on how much he does to Gramps as a Deborah here, um, Jiren coming out later with a Colossal Slash might be enough to take out Deborah, even if he doesn't, you know get him down super low. And I would say that uh, Grandpa needs uh, to cl keep clashing with uh, Deborah if he can. It'll just like, and do that right there. Just like that. Oh my just goodness. Just like that. As I was saying earlier, he uh, he loves using his after images and after image strike, or no, he doesn't have after image strike, but his after images and uh, he uh, loves to spam it. He's like the, one of the best humans in the game. And that will keep him alive and keeps him doing damage. Even if it's slow, he's still there and in your face. He's worked for GT so well last season uh, that there's no doubt about uh, his defensive capabilities. Yeah, uh, looked like for a bit there, Debarro had his own afterman strike up, but I don't think it's really really ended up doing anything anything for him. But he's already worked off the the key charge penalty. Uh, both of them have actually. Mm. And he gets hit with an evil impulse right there for about 10 k Yeah. Uh, Gramps doing a pretty solid job um, uh, uh, here against Dabura. Um, that after mid strike earlier into the B2 helped a lot. Um, I think if he can get Dabura down to his second health bar, Jiren coming in Colossal Slashing, I think is probably enough to take down Dabura. Yeah. And if he could hit... Uh, well... That no matter how many times he hits with a Kamehameha, as long as he hits with it, it's it's a good thing. He has like one of the weakest ones, but it doesn't cost that much. Mm -hmm. And right now, I would say he should tag right now. Uh, Jiren come in with the Colossal Slash, uh, quickly in Debora, and hopefully uh, truck through the rest of the team. Yeah, either that or popping another uh, after mid strike right now to help him evade. Ooh, they even need it for that one. Yeah, see, like he just loves dodging. Period. Wow. And immediately, that's the second time Jaren has come in and immediately slapped this opponent out of whatever they're doing. And we're going. Are we going to see another drain life? Wow. And by oh. Punisher. He's going yeah, to you're, you were you were talking smack about Jerome. I would actually say Jerome's probably had the most impressive performance in on Copium Cast this this match. In the TOP, let's let's uh let's put the brackets around that. In the TOP, he doesn't do, he does not perform this well <laughs> in the main season. Yeah, just you wait, just you wait. <laughs> um, Jaren getting the colossal slash up. I think Jerome was on the ground there, so it didn't do full damage. Oh, um, uh, yeah, it did not do full damage. It was about half damage, and wow, he's doing it again. And Jerome's finished signing, so I think that's gonna be it for him. It is. He was on his last bar, like not even full last bar. And here comes the king, 
Dabora. And there's still yeah, and they Wuhan still have the Wuhan. You almost forgot yeah. about him because you haven't seen him in like 30 seconds, but he's still there, folks. All right, if you're in Colossal Slashes and hits, I think he has a good chance. He just has to. He just needs to not get hit by B2 from Dabura, otherwise he's gone. And he needs to do specifically Colossal Slash, but he didn't. But, what, but, still gonna uh, do junky damage. Dabura does not have uh, like any uh, defense, so it's going to do mega damage on him. He is. Uh, they did not build him for any type of defense. Right. So even Man. even that did like 11k. Mm -hmm. Or no, this, actually this. Oh wow! Uh, oh. Wow. oh. Okay. Okay. I thought that was it. <laughs> I thought that was it for for Jiren. Wow. Oh, the grab. Oh yeah. And Deborah loves to uh, play the uh, <laughs> catch me if you can at the end of battles. But sometimes it doesn't work out. Yeah, and this is this is really close. Um, Buhan, I believe, is on his last bar. Uh, yes, he is. Yeah, I thought it was on his yellow. Yeah. So, I, I mean, all it takes from pretty much either of them. Buhan needs just one decent melee combo. Jira needs one B two. Uh, oh wow, that was a waste. But he still has a chance here. Oh wow, Navi, look not at that happens. melee just punched him in his face. That is 2-0 for uh, Copium Cast, and uh, we <laughs> imagine if they sweep them the whole time. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. It's certainly a possibility, but I, uh, that last match showed that, that Monkey Monday is more is certainly a match for them. Um, that was that was really close there at the end. And um, hold on, let me like who are the coaches of uh of uh, Copium Cat, it's X Matt and Anthony. Uh, I believe X Mac is one of the coaches in the league, and I can't remember if Anthony is, but like, well done, well done over here. Like, even if you don't win it all, well done. And also to Sodamex, Sodan, Sodanam, I don't know how to say his name, and uh, Namek, Namex, Eken, Namex, the Namek uh, coach, essentially. Uh, well done here. Like, uh, both of you guys deserve props. Or all of you guys deserve props. And, uh, well coached teams. You know what you guys are doing. Hopefully it'll translate over to the main season. Yeah, I agree, uh, completely with that. Copium Cast, of course, has been scary throughout. But even, even Monkey Monday? When I originally saw Monkey Monday, I was like, this is like a good team, but I don't see this being the undefeated team. And then they went and were the undefeated team in the uh, in the COP. So, yeah. Oh yeah. They well, definitely know what they're doing with they their characters. They took their first two L's here in the grand finale, so they're technically they're not <laughs> undefeated. Not, now. <laughs> not anymore, yeah. But I mean, if your first loss is against this team, Copium Cast, I think you're doing really well for yourself. Yeah, your first loss is again in the grand finals. It's, it's not that bad. You kind of like the Patriots in uh, whatever year they had. They went AT and O and lost in the Super Bowl. <laughs> I will trust the accuracy of that statement. I do not know football. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, right now, so far, Jiren doing a pretty good job here against Buhan at the start. Uh, about a bar different, so. Oh yeah, looking very much like the first round. A um, little bit more even if. Uh... If Zarbon transforms and finishes uh, Buhan off. Wow, some of that just went right around him. He wasn't even moving. Yeah, it's always the worrying thing about the volleys. Is some of them are not quite so accurate. So, the biggest change that needs to happen here is either Zarbon needs to tag early, or he just needs to beat his first opponent. Or, like, and, and then some. Because, uh... So far, it is not working out for Monkey Monday. They're having uh, the awful Tuesdays, I guess you could say. Or the awful Saturdays, really, in this case. But he did just take down Buhan, so that's a good start. Still two bars on, on Zarbon. Oh, uh, yeah. Out comes Shiro. Transform or just tag. Either or. Or just bully Jiro. <laughs> well, you might drain that life. Shove the nerd into the locker. <laughs> we gotta have the nerd and the, the 
the, uh, the beauty queen or the prom queen here. <laughs> yeah, so far they're just kind of flying around. Zarbon finally in doing a bit of melee. Mm -hmm. Get, we're getting some uh, some uh, very slow exchanges of uh, fisticuffs. That full power energy wave didn't fully connect, unfortunately, for Jiro. And yeah, Zarbon, Zarbon is doing pretty good. Um, he's done, what, like 55k at this point so far? Uh, yes, and more. With this, it'll a be lot. like a 60k. And a nice yeah. tag. He loves tagging right after transform transforming. Kind of like a, a Sin Shinra. Oh my goodness. It, it, that, okay, I don't know if he caught that, but Zarbon did his B2, right? And right. then as he was falling, he tagged into into Jiren, and then Jiren just flew down and immediately continued the car, uh, the combo that Zarbon set up. Oh yeah, those tag combos are like the best in the league. You want and you always love to see that from your, your team members. And Jiren, uh, not Jiren, uh, Jiro is, uh, took away his uh, full power, and then he continued to drain him. And uh, Jiren has not been able to use his B2 because of that. Yeah, I think, uh, but even still, Jiren's out here trying to tell Jiro uh, that he doesn't need his B2s. He will just fisticuffs the man. <laughs> and so and far, it's working out pretty well. If... Bionic Punisher that Jiro uses, like, if it did the full wide sweep instead of just going from one side to the center, he would hit so many more opponents, and he would actually be closer to an effective character. It's crazy. Yeah, between... Yeah, between, uh, between that and Full Power Energy Wave, Full Power Energy Wave is definitely the more consistent. I feel like I've seen times where he'll get the grab, which is like the perfect time to use a B2, and the Binding Punisher still misses somehow. Yeah. Not quite sure how that works, and but... That, that's why, in my opinion, it's like one of the worst B2s in the game. Specifically because, it does for some reason, it doesn't hit, and it doesn't have a long range in comparison to other beams that do the same thing. And then it's, it's, it's just... I just don't like it. I'd rather just have a uh, what is it called the ballet dance that freaking uh uh one of the Valkyries use. I I I don't I couldn't tell you for the life of me what it was. <laughs> Jiro actually doing a pretty solid job though. He's about evened up at least in this matchup against uh, uh, Jiren. Of course, they still have Zarbon in the back, so this isn't this isn't an even match per se. But between these two characters, specifically, it's fairly even. Yeah, I checked my watch, and this match has gone on for way too long. One of them needs to finish this right now, and uh, hopefully Jiro does it, <laughs> just to turn the match around. Because uh, y'all two have just been uh, dancing around, punching each other, like uh, it's, it's Piccolo in 17. Hurry up and finish it. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Down goes Jiro, leaving Debur as the last member of Copium cast up against uh, everyone on Monkey Monday. No one's gone down yet. Oh, wow. This is the kind of match they needed, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they needed all three of them to beat King De the Demon King Debur. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kayo is saying it was Energy Ballet from Fasha. That was her name. That's the name I was looking for. Oh, that move. Okay. Um. No, I think I'd rather have the Bionic Punisher, I feel. Because it's not great, but at least it'll, like, hit sometimes at, for, like, 6k, you know? Yeah. I, that, that, I feel like... Yeah. You feel like what? I was going to say, I feel like um, if we're comparing the two... Sort of a weird clash angle there. If we're comparing the two, uh, uh, -oh. uh the Bionic Punisher uh -oh. is better. No tracking. And his ultimate no. missed because there is no tracking on that one. Nope. Um, did, oh, Jaren tagged. I completely missed that. Oh, he, <laughs> yes, he tagged. I just realized I saw the little uh, little rotating thing. Well, so. Jiren died. I don't think he tagged. No, you can see that um, in the bottom uh, for uh, Monkey Monday. Next to Zarbon, they have the, the circle so they can still rotate out who they oh, were tagging to. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he did tag. Yeah. Um, Gramps is doing pretty solid. He's going even. He's got after him strike up right now. 
Yep. So, so you can dodge those. Oh! And that is really effective against Deborah, considering he uh, is known to throw out a lot of B2s, and then you can immediately get punished right after. Deborah? Yeah, Deborah. Oh, sorry, no, that was me watching Deborah just stand there as Gramps charge up a Kamehameha right in front of him. Oh, uh, yeah. Not a good dodge, Deborah. I mean, he, he is sometimes, but not all the time. And, and he's on his last bar. Basically, almost get, another evil flame will end him. But oh wow, he blocked the Kamehameha with evil with flame. With mystic breath? No, oh, it was with no, evil it was flame. Mystic, it was breath? mystic breath. Oh wow, it did something. <laughs> oh, maybe I can't even say. I don't even know if it went long enough. That I've never seen mystic breath block anything. Uh, That's wild. The Bora needs a uh, demon performance here, like a like that. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> I think that's gonna take down Zarbon with how much of a boost uh, Deborah has to his B twos. That would have to be like 18k at least. Uh, granted, Zarbon's built wow. for defense. But yeah, did, wow, you were right you on the that? button. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. But here is Jiren. He has Savior. Colossal Slash is over. Uh, Just Colossal over. Slash, or he'll melee. Oh, or he'll a, wow. Punch them in the gut. Said no. <laughs> no, you're gonna lose. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's Monkey Monday's um uh, first one for for this uh for the stream. Oh yeah. And it's two and two. No, it's because two of the weird one. stuff. Well, it all it, it's two and two right now. No, it's two. Uh, one. For this best of five. No, I mean like Copium Cast and one twice and Monkey yeah, Monday yeah, yeah, yeah. Once. But I'm saying for like whether or not for this championship match, they're they're technically even. Um, I, I can't remember the exact uh, circumstances of it, but there was something. Yeah, be, they came into the one because they they're coming through with the uh, the winners bracket, so they're starting with a, a win right off the bat because they're in the winners bracket. Right. Kaio's explaining it, commentators, doing my best to interpret. Um, let me let me look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But basically, to sum up. It's technically two and two right now. So whoever wins this, if Monkey Monday wins, they're the champions. If Copian wins, then we reset and do one more best of five. Okay. To see who's the winner. Okay. So I I, I thought we were I I'm not used to that. <laughs> okay. I'm a I'll go ahead and start the match again. Yeah. Like, cause usually it's like you know the person in the winners bracket, you know they just beat the it's just a regular uh, uh blank slate. As in, like, they have to beat the... The loser has to win a whole set. And then it's, like, even. So I, I'm not used to them having an automatic win right off the bat. Yeah, definitely, definitely a little odd. But it is how it is. <laughs> and we're going to see what happens. Alright. Now, they're starting off really aggressive here. Uh, we're seeing a lot of fast-paced action, getting a lot of melee, and uh, Super Blue is winning that melee. Punched them out of that shooting uh, shooting arrow, and uh, yeah, Zabra will lose the melee game, so he needs to back away a little bit and start doing a little more B2. I mean, unless... yeah, Zabra. Def yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, yeah, I agree that Zarbon tends to be at his best when he mixes in doing melee with a couple B2s here and there. Uh, that's when he does his best in these kinds of matchups. Oh yeah, and uh, you start off aggressive against Buhan, uh, well, Buhan will just be more aggressive than <laughs> Even if he doesn't have melee Kataras on. So, uh... Wow, okay, they're in like a little ditch in the arena, and uh... We're looking for some close range fights now. Yeah, Zarbon transformed there. Uh, gives him a bit of a, a bit of a boost. Um, it's like I know his grab is a lot more damage when he's when he's transformed. Um, but I mean, Buhan's got a pretty strong lead right here at the start, and, and without there being a floor, Zarbon's grab's just not that great. Yeah, it's not looking real good for Zarbon. He uh, decided to play it close, and he is being punished for it right now. He needs to tag Almost. into Jiren. Yeah, tagging here is definitely not a bad option. Trying to get back and charge up to get some B2s off, also not a bad one. Um, 
Just something besides what he's been doing. And there we That's have it. We have a tag. Colossal Slash. Will this hit? Has a wide range. Nope. Not the angle they were at now. Nice and dodge from Buhan. Yeah, overall, this is not this has not been the greatest start for Monkey Monday. Zarbon kind of got uh, tossed uh, around, and Jiren is just really missing with these B2s right now. And that B2 got uh, deflected or uh, because of uh, the full power uh, and vulnerability the uh, characters get for a split second. A nice chocolate bean for probably about 8 to 10k. Somewhere around there. Yep. Uh, 10k, yeah. Uh, let's see. Jiren has no defensive options, uh, so everything will do the full amount of damage to him. Correct. Uh, nice clash here. Uh, I think this can go either way. Jiren didn't have any clash boosts, but I think Buhan didn't either. Yeah, Buhan didn't either. Let's see. Okay, Jiren's starting to fight back a little bit. And the, uh, this area for Buhan is really effective for him, but he's tagging anyway into Jiro, the ultimate nemesis of Jiren, but nemesis beats him every time. <laughs> Here we have a drain life tw oh, <laughs> he slaps him out of it, <laughs> it says try again. Yeah, that was a good job on, on Jiren wow. knocking him out, and a he's really good meditation. styling on him, he's just, just anything you do is just not effective in this one. Yeah, Jiren's uh, Jiren's got Jiro's number, and it's twenty. And remember, Copium Cast must win this match in order for it to continue. Yep. If if Monkey Monday wins this, then Monkey Monday will be our uh, champion of the TOP. But so far, this has been a very good performance from Copium Cast on on this one. Uh, Monkey Monday is really on the back foot right now. Oh, and there you have it. The biggest negative of Jiro, the Bionic Punisher not being able to hit for some reason after uh, knocking the opponent away. And he is grabbing the crap out of Jiren. Jiren, like, having this energy. Wow, wow. did you see that charge from Jiren? <laughs> oh, yeah. It does not matter if he gets grabbed. But Jiro finally beats the Jiren on a one and one basis. Uh, yeah, it... It just might be uh, curtains. <laughs> for it Mikey could Monday. be, now, unless unless Co uh, not Co I don't know. What I'm trying to say Kofun Cast. Kofun Cast is doing great so far. Uh, if Grandpa Gohan just pops off out of nowhere, mm -mm. Ah, see that it did it again. Wow. And oh, but he absorbed. Jerome My goodness. using his abilities to his fullest right now, sucking up energy. Like it was, uh, like it was Yamcha. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, the fact that Jerome's popping off is a great sign, uh, but uh, the other characters could always derp and do nothing. This is true, but it, it is worrying that this is where Monkey Monday's at, and Burra hasn't hasn't hit the field. Because I would say personally that I find Debura the scariest member of Copium Cast. Yeah, he's been the scariest throughout the league. Uh, personally destroying uh, Hippo's Kitchen, uh, putting in minimum work on other teams, but and still being super effective. It's, uh, it, 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 in this type of uh, tournament, this type of setting, he is really effective. Uh, I would say probably in the main link, it's just because that there's just way more characters and he's most of the time not the anchor of the team. Mm -hmm. He probably suffers from like being tagged in early or just having to match up with really tanky characters and then dealing with multiple characters that you can't. But in this setting, he is uh, the bomb, literally. Quite and literally. he sucked it up again. Jero putting on a show. Yeah, Grandpa Gohan not learning from the first time, but he really should not be using those Kamehamehas against uh, against Jiro. Wow, you know, I haven't noticed it for the first. Wow, wow, another. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't think a single beam has hit him. I don't. I don't know if a single beam has hit him this this round. That's crazy. No, I think he's absorbed all of them. Oh, is, he's getting full power. Is he gonna go to Drain Life Twenty? And he's teleporting. <laughs> he's just teleporting on Grandpa Gohan, showing off. Wow! I, I swear, man, <laughs> you you were you were talking. Oh, 
You were dissing on him. He's like, no, no, let me show you what I. Okay. <laughs> as as All right, that. he finally got touched. He got touched. <laughs> he got hit by something. And a tag from Grandpa Gohan into Zarbon, who is fully transformed. Elegant Blaster. And he another he tried to beam suck up that does not hit him. Too. Yeah, he tried. It just it didn't even That's him to begin hit. with. Yeah, he was going in the direction of Bionic Punisher. He definitely was going to hit. Wow, Jiro is... Uh, he, he's just soloing Monkey Monday right now. He took care of Jiren. He's taking care of Zarbon. He's taking care of a Grandpa Gohan. I think this is the Jiro show. This this it's, this this match is the Jiro show. Uh, yeah, this is not looking great. I mean, Gramps has a mind bargain, so he's got a bit of healing. And you but know, what? I just wow, this might be it. Oh wow, he oh, missed somehow. Duck. I no, I think he's just short. I think I'm wow, he's so oh good again! Goodness. He's like, thank you for the free energy. Thank you, Grandpa. Bow. Gramps, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. He says, I have more drip than you. And sometimes... <laughs> and your Kamehameha has mean nothing to me. <laughs> Let me show you what a real energy wave can do. Let me show and that's you what a that. real Grandpa looks like. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that, oh. but Grandpa said, I fall and I can't get up. Just like those old commercials. <laughs> oh, boy. My goodness. What a... Wow. Yeah. And there we have it, folks. We have Copium Cass handing Monkey Monday their first L ever. Their first couple of L's ever in the uh, tournament of power in the grand finale but there's still more to come as they now have reset the bracket and now they have to finish them off in the uh the next uh matchups against them so if you are interested in joining the league you can check us out on our discord there is a link in our description below there you can also find twitter tiktok and what and our uh websites are just our singular website discord don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to see more of the league, uh, subscribe to the stream. And uh, next week, we'll be showing off a little bit of BT4. So be on the lookout for that. I have been Lieutenant Rakage. And I've been Batch of the Bow. And we'll see you next time.